I'm Gary. I'm Melanie. And these are our kids. Hi, and we are Simple Life Reclaims. Another day, says it's gonna rain. <laughs> Looks a little ominous, but no rain. I'll take it, it's all right. We'll see what this, uh, <laughs> this day is gonna bring. So far, it seems like it's gonna bring a lot of wind. Come on down here, see how, how bad it is in this area. And I'm going to try to be in. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I'm really curious. I mean, it's not too windy. Not nearly as bad as it was uh, up the hill a little bit. All right. I think that's what I'm going to do. Seeing that the wind's not too bad down here at the animal tier. I think I'm going to start working with that green metal over there that's going to go on the top up there i gotta go get my uh go get my tools go get my supplies and uh get a ladder <laughs> so i can do this so i'm gonna walk on up the hill a little bit I might actually pull those form boards while i'm up here because <laughs> yeah i don't know i looked at the radar so far, it looks like it's clear. However, it looks like storms are starting to uh, form and start popping off over in like the Texarkana area, which the direction of where that is at is uh, basically coming straight to us, at least from the direction of the storm path and everything else like that. So that might actually hit us. I don't know. I do know my, uh, my ladder blew over. <laughs> that might have been that loud clash I heard. Oh, well, what the hell is that? All right, I'm gonna set you guys down real quick. Let's get these forms out. See what's going on. That looks phenomenal, actually. That is beautiful. If I can have all mine look like that, that would be great. That is great. I like it.
I got all the forum boards off. And our pre-made concrete actually cured really, really well. There's some spots where it void wise, but it is really smooth to the touch. And I have a feeling that might have been what was on the uh, form board itself, but it is really, really nice. I can actually see the wood grain <laughs> in on this side. So that's telling me that it's probably most likely something that was on the form board. But all of our pre-made is really, really nice. And then all the concrete that was the pre-mix has more of the honeycombing going on. And I did the exact same, like I always do. It is smooth, but all the way around it, each one of them has got a bit here and there. So it's a little, little odd to me that did the same method as the four that I made itself. And then these, I did the same, everything around, and these still ended up with little pockets on it. Should have grabbed out my little vibrator thing and vibrated the sides of it, but I didn't want concrete to ooze everywhere. So it is what it is. What it, is. it turned out really, really well. Now we can come in here easily and fill up and get this back area good because of where I place this, I should be able to drive in here with said track or something like that and backfill or whatever um, before we actually you know start working on this side I do want to backfill it up just a little bit more from right there and then have it taper just ever so slightly that way making it to where it comes this way and then sort of evens out right there in the front area so we'll see how that goes how it's all going to work out I'm trying to trying to create a our water flow area but as i'm doing all this this wind has been kicking up man i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to jump up here and check out what the weather's doing up there so i might end up having to work in here yeah it's super dark over that way not so dark that way what the clouds look like they're doing is it's coming in from that way so i should be all right for a little bit but <laughs> we're on the outskirts of the storm, which explains all the nasty wind. <laughs> so yeah, if we end up being on the tail end of it or on the outskirts of it, it's just gonna be windy. It shouldn't be too rainy or anything else, I'm hoping. I got all my materials down here. I'm gonna go ahead and get this all cut up to where I can start slapping it up there on the roof and get it going. I'm hoping I can get at least all the green sheets up. If I can get all of the green roofing up, that would be awesome. The other thing that I would like to try to do is try to get the back walls completely done and everything like that and make it to where we can start working on these gable ends and all that. So. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna see as far as I can get. It is starting to sprinkle just ever so slightly. So I am gonna set you guys up for a time lapse just so I don't get these mics wet or anything else like that. <laughs> and uh, it should be able to go a little bit quicker too. So let's uh, set you guys on up and get this thing rolling. So I started cutting out all of our roofing for the barn and it worked out perfectly where I could just cut it right in half and be able to use one half for the other side and the other half on the other side and whatnot. I was a little bit slow moving using just snips. I could use my grinder, but if any of you guys have ever used a grinder on metal, it's pretty easy to screw it up. <laughs> and it gets to be a little sketchy, so I opted to use my snips. I can't wait to get the automatic snips, so it's just easy push of a button and it just starts cutting <laughs> and it it uh, tended to cut a lot straighter than the grinder probably could have uh, to be quite frank and it worked out pretty nice right here I realized uh, afterwards that the mic did not pick up but it was starting to rain and I was just letting you guys know that I'm gonna wrap my stuff up and uh, hold off until the rain is done but it was starting to come down harder and harder by the second. As you guys can see, it's coming down hard. 
it finally stopped raining. It started coming down super hard. I was like, man, this is insane. So I just held off for a little bit and it calmed down. Literally the kids came home as soon as it started calming down. As you can see, I got no more green right here other than, you know, the ridge cap area, but I got no more green over there. I've got a pile of green over there and if you caught it, yep. I put some green <laughs> up on the roof, got it up there, at least on this side. This is half of the metal and I am going to be shy <laughs> by one piece. I don't know what I was thinking when I was calculating the, the, the sheets, but I, uh, yeah, I am literally one shy. Don't know what happened. It is, it is what it is, you know, at least I do have it up there and I have an idea now exactly uh, how many I need. But I know I, I believe I calculated this whole thing correctly. If I'm off on that one, there's a good chance I'm off on the, the brown. So yeah, good thing is, is that uh, S&W does have this in stock. So I definitely want to get this thing going sooner than later. So that way, you know, if I figure out how many pieces I'm missing, I can calculate and finish this up because uh, that, that's a little aggravating. I'm not going to lie. I was just like, man, why? And what I'm going to try to do with the brown is actually bend the corners. So that way I have no seam in the middle and I'll just bend that panel to fit and cut it to where it goes all the way around. And that way it's fully enclosed this way. Yeah. Don't know how well that's gonna go though. I'm just saying, that's what I'm planning on. If that's gonna happen or not, that's a whole nother story. We'll have to, we'll have to tackle that when it comes to it, but at least it's going up there. I'm pretty happy and it has calmed down quite a bit. The chickens are enjoying this weather. They're uh, out messing around, jumping off of things. They're having a good old time. These turkeys and chickens are having a great old time. You guys finishing up that food in there? I threw it underneath the, underneath the coop so that way it could stay dry. But inside of there, staying nice and dry, you guys seem to be doing all right. You guys got enough stuff to stand up on. Coming out saying hello. Those guys are doing pretty good. Uh, coming on up this way. It's that end of the day stuff, you know. I'm always down here messing around with things. I do need to get over here with the lawnmower and mow all this, but I really don't want to do it when it's wet. And uh, last time I mowed, I mowed quite a bit of everything, but I'm trying to get it to where this year everything is manageable and I'm not having to spend hours and hours in one area. So it's getting there though. Coming down to the bunnies, seeing what you guys are up to. What's going on, truck buster? You okay, buddy? Yeah? Hi, your mama. Mama's doing good. Baby bunnies in there are doing good. They're all nice and warm. Nora's doing good. Everybody got food. They look like they're doing great. Look like they're happy. I know Scarlet's already came down and did her chores and gave them some love in and everything. But I wanted to come down and check in on this garden, especially since it's been raining. That's always a nice, uh, nice benefit to the garden. Get some natural rain to it. See what's going on. Man, those radishes are, they're all about ready to come out. They are all about ready. Cucumbers are doing all right. The sun is sort of eating some of them. Peppers are doing all right. Sun's getting to them too a little bit. Ooh. 
Her broccoli's doing some pretty crazy stuff. I see little flower buds on that guy. Same thing over there. All right, all right. Let me come check over here. Yeah, this one's got some too. All right. Those look like they're doing some, doing their thing, working it out. These guys look like they're doing all right. Carrots are starting to take off a bit. These radishes are dang near ready, man. If not ready, like, geez Louise, look at that guy. That guy's like bulging out of the, out of the ground right there. Like, let's just pull that guy. Look at that. Dude. Yeah, there's some, <laughs> those radishes are ding near. That's it. Grapes are doing good. Grapes are doing good. Blueberries, blueberries. Are we getting anything off of this guy over here yet? I don't think we're getting any flowers or any buds off of this one yet. And I hope it comes back. We'll see. That guy hasn't changed colors either. So I don't know. Peas are doing good. Jalapenos are doing good. Those things are starting to take off. Tomatoes are doing all right. Some of them didn't do too good, but it is what it is. Got some kale, some cabbage going. Whole bunch of lettuces, all different types. One of these days, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna see a red strawberry hanging off and I'm gonna be jumping up and down. That's awesome. That's definitely popping stuff up. That's got a little something. That's popping up. Popping up a little. I don't know. I think. Definitely popping. Definitely popping up. Popping up. Popping up. Storm a roaring. That storm is a roaring. <laughs> 